You can't gang! So this is an ABAS model. We're in an inflationary gap. Does anybody have any questions? I love it. What's up, Econ Gang? Today we're going to go over the production possibilities curve. This is module three. So first thing we're going to talk about with the PPC is how it illustrates trade-offs facing an economy that produces only two goods. It shows the maximum quantity of one good that be can be produced for each possible quantity of the other good being produced. There are three assumptions that we look at when we're looking at PPCs. One is that resources are fixed, technology is going to be constant, and there are only two products being produced. You can see here on the table, if we were a country and we were only producing two goods, we'd be producing TikTok videos and we'd be producing scrunchies. Um, and at each different point, we can see that we are either producing some amount of TikTok videos and with that, some amount of scrunchies. So for point A, we are making 20, we are producing 20, TikTok videos while we were producing zero scrunchies, point B, 18 TikTok videos, and two scrunchies. And that is a PPC table. Now, when we look at the table, we would then take that information and graph it out. And here we can see that on the vertical axis, we have the TikTok videos. On the horizontal axis, we have scrunchies. Um, each point uh, being represented on this graph. All right, so trade-offs. Uh, trade-offs are where you give something up in order to have something else. Here we can see on the PPC that when we produce more TikTok videos, we are giving up more scrunchies. And the more, more scrunchies we produce, we have to give up some TikTok since we're only producing two goods in this society. Now, efficiency. There are to be efficient, you're using your full production of resources. Um, any point from A, B, C, and D are what's referred to as productively efficient. We are producing and using all of our resources to produce one of those four points, and that is on the PPC curve. Allocated efficiency is the point that society is going to determine as the best point. So if we have all have long hair, right, and we are in desperate need of scrunchies to keep our hair out of our face, we would probably be producing at point D, which is eight scrunchies and zero videos. Now, if we are all into TikTok videos and that's all we want to produce at TikTok videos, our allocated efficiency would be point A. Now, opportunity cost. The opportunity cost is the loss from a choice being made. So your opportunity cost represented on a PPC is if you move from point A to point B, or if you move from point B to point C, that would be, what did you give up from moving from that point to the new point? So here, if we move from point A to point B, we gave up two TikTok videos, right? We gained two scrunchies, but we're giving up our cost for moving from point A to point B is two TikTok videos. Now, there are ways we can shift out the PPC, and the three ways that a PPC can get shifted out is through uh, quality and quantity of resources, a change in that, a change in technology, or a change in trade. Some other things to note on this PPC is one is point G. Point G is not obtainable we can, with the resources that we have. So without pushing out our PPC, we cannot produce at point G. We cannot produce 18 TikTok videos and six scrunchies. It's just not possible with the amount of resources that we have. Point E and point F means that we are not producing, we have some inefficiency in our graph, right? Or in our society. We could produce more, but for some reason we are not producing more. And this could be due to uh, unemployment levels, or it could be due to uh, workers not producing as much as they can. And that is it for today. I want to thank everybody that helped produce this video. And if you could please subscribe to my video. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thank you guys and have a great day. Peace.